Of course. Well, I can't put a big S. Agitated. Yes, he's agitated. Damn, it's uh, I'm agitated. I am agitated. You You're right, I'm very agitated. We got the fing SD card and the voice recorder. Is that Ed here with us? Ed, is that you? of Main Street in Turkey, Texas sits historic Hotel Turkey that is actually one of the longest continuously operating hotels in Texas serving guests and travelers passing through since 1927. However, the only person or persons that seem to remain constant are the spirits that reside on the second floor. She was also cleaning a different room across from it and she saw the door just opening and closing and she was just looking and again it opened and it closed and there was no wind, no windows were open. So it was kind of creepy. We were scared at that time. Right now we're about uh, 11 miles outside of Turkey, Texas. And on this trip, we're gonna be visiting three locations that's known to have paranormal activity. The first one's gonna be Hotel Turkey, that's in Turkey, Texas. The next is gonna be Jefferson Hotel in Jefferson, Texas. And last but not least, will be the Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells. We started this trip around eight this morning. It's going on three now. It hasn't been that bad overall, besides a cracked windshield. Rock just flew up, broke the bottom of, of my windshield. So should be good for the rest of the trip. I won't get it fixed till we get back home. From what I can tell you about Turkey, Texas, population I think is around 400. Yeah. And I mean, pretty much your average um, small town America, at least based off population. First time here, neither one of us has never been here before. So it ought to be interesting overall. I'm gonna check the town out, see what all it has to offer, and then we'll uh, check in at the hotel. Ready to sail into the Hotel Turkey was founded in 1927 and served as accommodations for the growing town and the railroad that ran through the town in continuous operations since then. The 1927 Bed and Breakfast Inn stands on the site of the previous foundation of a hotel that was damaged beyond repair during a severe tornado at the beginning of the 20th century. The hotel was added to the National Register of Historic Places in October 1991. As for the paranormal activity at Hotel Turkey, some workers have experienced it from handprints mysteriously pairing on a bed just made up to doors opening and closing on its own. While staying at the hotel, some guests also said they have seen a shadow woman in the upstairs common areas to lights turning on and off by themselves and the feeling of someone climbing into the bed with them. There's also been reports by several people walking from the back patio through the main floor hallway, accounts of seeing shadows or movements in the front looking out the doors. But through all the reported activity, the ones that seem to stand out the most are the accounts of activity stemming from upstairs where room seven and 10 are located. During our overnight visit, we stayed in room 10 where we conducted a daytime surveillance session, which we left the room and monitored for any activity. During the night, we conducted an EVP session where we picked up numerous intellectual responses. Well, we're in the room now, just finished setting up all the monitoring devices. We have the mail meter, 2K2s, rim pod, some cat balls. You can hear that's the metal meter right there. Uh, we have the spirit talker, the cameras. 
So we're going to go ahead and leave the room for a little bit, a couple of hours, get something to eat, check out the hotel. Then we'll come back and monitor our findings and get ready for the night session. All right, we're leaving. Have fun. Myself. Painful. Ten. I'm a woman. More energy. Memories. Thank you. 
Are we still talking to Jeff? No? Did you stay in this hotel a lot? Did you die in this hotel? No? It's a really cute hotel. There's really nice people here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you say my name? Yes, can you say Melanie? Can you, can you say Willie? Can you say hi? Can, can you tell us hello? What room in this hotel should people stay in? Thank <laughs> you.